Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for the Cano. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Cano Code app. So you'll see it on your dashboard or you will see it in Classic Mode, but let's click on the C. And it's going to launch us to our online browser. So this is again something that you need to have access to the internet for. Um, but you can use this on a laptop for free resources. Um, it's a completely free app that you can use online. Um, and use with your laptop or other computers. So when you get here, you'll notice that you have a bunch of challenges. Um, these challenges are arranged. We're going to be with the Cano 2.0, have a pixel screen available, a camera, and then also a speaker that you can build yourself um, and hack and play with yourself. So these are some activities that are and challenges that are arranged around that. But you also have some for making make art, um, and different of our theme challenges or like pattern challenges that you can use in Maker. But we're going to be playing with one of the challenges up here so you can kind of get an idea for it. So let's look at one for the pixel screen, light loops. Sometimes takes a little bit of time to load. My Wi Fi is a little slow today. So, one in, comes in, it's like, hey, let's do this, let's get started. And while you're going, it's very similar to make Minecraft, where it'll point to an area and tells you how to make your display come alive. So, you'll have the code on the left, you'll have on the right the actual display that you're working with. So, it's telling us we need to go to the control key and it will point directly to the block that we need. So, I'm going to plug it in. Very similar to Scratch with the blocks that you plug and play um, and make it come alive. And now we'll add the light board. And see how it kind of highlights it on the side, like where you plug it in? That's also helpful to kind of just know where does everything go. All right. There we go. And then let's add a color. So you'll see that now it displays instantly like I have asked it. So when the app starts, every second the lights are all going to turn on and it's going to go to a random color. So you'll see it happen automatically, which is super cool to just see it instantly happening. And there's a bunch of different other features you can add. You can do like a snap and clap. You can have it be more interactive. So these are ways you can add different types of buttons and parts to it, um, having it read the sports news for you, so there's a bunch of different things you can add, but it's all going with these block features. And again, they all have tutorials, um, walkthroughs for you, so you can learn how to do the initial one. You have to follow them step by step before it will let you just kind of hack it so you can get an idea of what it is. But that is Cano Code, and again, it's an online feature. Um, there's a lot of great ways that you can connect it to different types of cross-curricular activities. You can connect it to math, science, you can connect it to possibly learning a foreign language or learning English. So these are all different ways that you can use it. And if you have any questions about how you can use Cano Code in your classroom or your learning environment, you can just email us at education at um, But this was just a little brief tutorial for how you can use it. And we'll be doing some webinars in the future, just going diving in deeper to what is Cano Code and how you can use it more interactively in your learning environment in the future. So that's it for today. Um, and email us if you have any questions.